Optical Systems Design offers two editions of their lens design softwares, Synopsys Classic Edition and Synopsys UI+. The Classic Edition provides you access to the powerful and long-trusted Synopsys lens design software. In the UI Plus Edition, we integrate all the features of the Classic Edition and wrap around it with an enhanced, streamlined, and workflow-oriented user interface with the goals to allow new users to kickstart their designs with ease. What you are seeing here is the workspace for the Synopsys UI Plus Edition. It looks very similar to the Classic Edition, but the main difference is that we reorganized the top menu, added a new spreadsheet, and implemented a new section in the user manual for the new GUI features we add to this edition. At this first page of the UI Plus user manual, you can also find some useful links to illustration videos and technical guides on our website. To get familiar with the Synopsys workspace, let's click at the workspace overview here to open the manual. Then click at top menu bar to load the page where you can find the descriptions of the menu items in the top menu bar. For example, the file menu, workspace menu, view menu, and so on. The system settings tab is where the basic definitions of the lens can be entered. So here, under system declaration, we could set the units, the number of surfaces we want, different focal modes, and other overarching system definitions. The wavelengths window provides option for advanced control, the source and detector, and find specific weightings for each wavelength. For instance, I may want to model the response of my eye looking at the star Sirius. This black line shows the combined effect of this scenario and then I can apply these weights to my respective wavelengths. In the next window, we can define the order properties of our system. Different options for the object can be chosen here and there are unlimited possible situations here in stop and pupil. At the help manual, you can click at the system settings menu here to read about how to use the dialog or you can click at the question mark in the dialog to open the help page for it. Next is the lens data and viewer menu where you can find tools to make 2D drawings of your systems or elements. We also introduce the image analysis tab. This tab contains information you may want to look at as you build and improve your system. Each plot can be fine-tuned to exactly the data you want to see. The optimization window now allows you to find your optimization parameters through a GUI to make this process quick to pick up and learn. Many choices are available for in-screen designers to perfect their merit function, to achieve specific targets. New users will get great use out of this interface. The right side of this window displays the optimization macro. These macros can then be saved for use with other lens files. When you are done optimizing your system, you can come over here to the prototype readiness menu, select BTOL to conduct a budget tolerance analysis for your system. Below the top menu bar is the top toolbar. You can click here to load the help page and read about the functionality of each toolbar button. This is the sidebar. Similarly, you can open the side toolbar page to read about the buttons. When you first launch Synopsys, you will see an empty workspace. Now let's open a lens system by clicking at the open file button here. Once the system is launched, you will see the printout of the system specification in the command window. Now let's click at the Sketchpad button to open the Sketchpad. Sketchpad is the graphic display window for the lens system. You can find the system layout at the top part of the Sketchpad and the ray fan characteristic of the system in the lower part of the Sketchpad. In the Help Manual, you can read about the Sketchpad toolbar buttons by loading the Sketchpad top toolbar by clicking here. Same for the side toolbar. There are a lot of neat things you can do with these toolbar buttons. For example, you can change the display for your system layout from a 2D profile to a perspective view by first clicking at the pad top display button. Select perspective view and click OK. Then you can use this control slider to rotate your system. The perspective view is very useful if you are working with a system with off-axis elements. To demonstrate the interactive features in Sketchpad, we will launch Worksheet by clicking at this button. Worksheet is a lens data editor in Synopsys. It provides a set of sliders for you to change and examine the behaviors of a lens system in real time. For example, if you want to change the curvature of surface 9, you can first click at the surface in the sketchpad. 
you notice that the worksheet editor pane is updated to Surface 9. Now, if you want to change the curvature, you can just drag the slider here and move it to one way or the other. Now, let's look at some other interactive features with the sketchpad. You notice that once the worksheet is launched, these set of buttons are activated. You can use them to add an element to the system, to delete an element, to fold the system, a minus 90 degree fold, or to add a prism to the system by choosing from the prism library. To view the lens data, you can click at the spreadsheet button to launch it. It provides a convenient platform to set up and edit the system lens data. You can click at the spreadsheet section in the help manual to read about it. It includes a toolbar, a surface data editor pane, and a lens data entry grid. The surface data editor has seven tabs. At the surface draw tab, you can edit how you want to draw the surface, the rays, or the vertices. You can edit the surface shapes by using the surface types editor. Synopsis supports a variety of surface shapes. You can choose the base surface option to define the conventional spherical and conic surfaces. Or you can use the additional surface feature options to add aspherics, for example, Zernike or Power Series aspherics to the base surface. There is also the complex shape options such as HOE, grading, and a set of unusual surface shapes. There are 29 unusual surfaces, including the Forbes A, B, C, NURBS, as well as the 8th power polynomial aspherics. You can read about them in the Surface Types Editor section of the Help Manual. The other tabs will allow you to edit the surface thickness, index and material specifications, coding, aperture size and shapes, complex apertures including inner apertures, as well as tilt and decenter of the elements. This was a brief introduction to the Synopsys UI Plus workspace. Synopsys is a fast, powerful, cost-effective program with a perpetual license. Contact us for more details or to request a free trial.